Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today we have an awesome project. We're going to be building a Chris knife and I think it's called or I think that's how you pronounce it a Chris knife or a Chris dagger. Anyways, it's an awesome looking dagger or knife, whatever you want to call it. We're going to make one. Let's get right into it. So as usual, I'd like to make some hand sketches of the knife just to see what the general shape is going to be or um, even the sizing of it so I can get a good idea of what type of material I need and the size of the material. So let's make some sketches. Now that I have my sketches done, my one-to-one, -one, I'm going to take this and I'm going to convert it to a 3D file on my computer. Now after I have this 3D file, I can now put it as a SDL file and print it right on my 3D printer. Now I like to do this because then I can actually hold the knife in my hand and just to see if the handle is going to make sense, if the, the blade is going to make sense and then after I do that, then I can start making a billet uh, for this knife specifically. I can take the size, I'll know the size, the dimensions of it, and it'll just make it easier for me to copy uh, right off of that 3D file or that 3D print and put it onto my billet. So let's make that print. So now I have my 3D print. I printed it in two, two pieces because it was a little bit too long for my printer. And I taped them together. And now I can get a good feel at, you know, the length of it, the handle, if it's going to work out for this type of knife. And it looks good so far. So what I'm going to do now is start stacking some uh, 15N20 and 1080 steel. And I'm going to also add in a couple of billets that I have that have uh, over 100 layers and I'm going to put some copper in it. So it's just going to be a stack full of material. I'm going to have probably around what I'm thinking is about 400 layers of 15 and 20 and 1080 steel. Plus I want to probably put four to eight layers of copper. So we're going to look for that material and we're going to start stacking it all together. But overall, the print turned out nice and the design looks good. Um, also, having all those layers in it, because I have these two huge bevels on both sides and it's going to be angled, I'm going to really see that copper and those uh, multi-layers in theory. So, let's find some material. So, here we go. I have some material here. So, this is the copper I'm going to be using. And it's about a 20 thou thick copper, very thin. Um, and I have my 15 and 20. I got a bunch of these scrap pieces that are 116. And I'm thinking of putting the copper in between that. So I'm going to get that light and then copper light. And I have some uh, multi layer, this is over a hundred layer pieces of. Uh, 15 and 20 and 1080 steel Damascus and I'm going to use that on the bottom the middle and the top of my billet but uh, I just got to clean them up first I'm going to take them on the mill mill all the the uh, surfaces and then I can cut them stack them and put it all together <music> Thank you. 
there's the blank and I'm going to be putting it on my milling machine and with an end mill I'm going to machine off all this scale there. It just makes it a lot faster than um, trying to grind it all off and it makes it nice and straight too. So now I have it secured in between these two vices and I'm going to use a uh, three quarter inch end mill and I'm going to climb mill all the way around this piece. Take a closer look at that. It looks really nice. You can see the copper in there and that hundred layer, the first hundred layer I put on the top. That's gonna look nice. So right off the mill, looks really nice. You can see the copper in there. Now it took off a little bit more than I liked off of the uh, hundred layer that I put on the top but on the inside should still be really nice, uh, nice patterns in there. So now that I have it like that, I'm going to um, take my print, place it over my blank like that, trace it out and I'll cut it out, cut off that excess. And I think I'm going to use the plasma cutter for this this time because of its funny shape it would be really hard to use the cutoff wheel. So I'm gonna try that. I haven't really done that before with the plasma. So I'm just gonna do it by hand and see how that turns out. Now the Chris Dagger is roughed out with the plasma torch and then I ground it a little bit and took my template, my 3D printed template, put it over top like this and then I spray painted and I like to use a high temp spray paint because as I'm grinding the profile it gets hot. If I use normal spray paint or just um, some sort of ink on there, it will burn off. But if you use high temp spray paint, it actually seems to hold the line there so you can continually cut into or grind off all that excess material. So thanks again for watching Bonifab Custom. We're going to continue this next week. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and push that button for notifications for the next videos for our Chris Dagger. Thanks.